I was pretty excited today when the mail came in. Um, I've been looking for one of these for a while to do a review on and they, they ended up being pretty rare. But this is the EVGA GTX 560 Ti 2Win. And it's a 2 gigabyte card. Now the sp uh, special thing about this is it's got two 560 Ti's on one board. So it's a completely custom PCB. And you can tell it's used. Um, I did pick it up off of, uh, I think, Amazon as a used um, card. But uh, I'll open it up here and kind of show a little bit. It's not really an unboxing, I guess, because it's clearly been unboxed and used before. Although the seller claimed it lightly used. This guy here is a, it's a monster. It is. Okay. Look at that pretty guy here. We've got uh, the two GPUs there. It's a dual 8 pin connector. Three fans. It looks like a pretty, it's a pretty tall heatsink. It's definitely going to take up uh, the equivalent of three slots. Let's see down there, there's two different heat sinks and some heat pipes coming out of them. Not not a real uh, aggressive heat pipes though. It doesn't appear. Let's get out the uh, camera here and so the total length we have is about eleven and a half inches. So it's uh, quite a big card, and the height we've got here um, about one and three quarter inch because it's a little rounded right here. So you got about one and three quarter inch tall, and then this measurement here we've got about four inches without the PCI Express slot so yeah so anyway let uh, I'm gonna grab a couple other cards and do uh, like a show a comparison here between this one and some other ones okay first uh, I'm gonna show it this is a 560 Ti 448 core by EBGA and it's about as big as a 480 so you can clearly see the difference here which is approximately an inch but one of the big things to look at also too that I noticed this card is quite a bit taller as well or thick I guess would be the word yeah it's quite a bit thicker as well especially with this rounded front okay so there's a 448 560 Ti and now I've got a 460 2 win which is another EVGA product and the 460 actually they're about the same the uh, the two the 560 2 win and the 460 2 win they are about about the same but then again just like the other card this heat sink is quite a bit taller um, compared to and the fans appear to be about the same size. But we can go back to here and we can see that again it is taller. And now I'll pull out another dual uh, GPU card, the 590. And oddly enough it's bigger than the 590. But this is a three fan setup compared to a one fan setup so you have to take some of that in consideration, but it's definitely a finger's width bigger than the 590. And uh, of course the 590's fan is taller and definitely more aggressive blades. And the thickness is well, about the same. you got pretty similar thickness here between the 590. Maybe the 2-win is a little bit thicker. But yeah, so there's some comparisons to the size of other graphics cards. 
And you know, another reference point would be a hard drive. Adjust the camera there. So this would definitely, you know, one hard drive goes. Oh, I'm sorry, I've got the wrong card. Let's um, here we go. Let's bring. This will make more sense. Let's actually do the right card this time. Okay, so it is still the same uh, length. But yeah, now here again, the heat sink for the 560 to win is taller, just like the other cards. So this is a thicker card as well. Now we'll do the hard drive comparison. And this is going to be a little more than two hard drives. So yeah, it's just a massive card, and it's kind of funny that it's bigger than the 590, but, you know, like I said, the three fan cooling solution is probably what does it. So anyway, I'm going to pop this in the test bench, and we'll fire it up and confirm it's working, and then we'll do a little bit of testing on it. Okay, so I've got the 560 Ti on the test bench, or the Ti2 win, excuse me. And this is an X58 board with 12 gigs of RAM, and we are using an i7-920 at 3.3 gigahertz. And I wanted to point out here that this second PCI Express slot down here is not accessible. This uh, card definitely takes up three slots. It may not quite look like it, but you definitely could not plug another card into there. So this would be a three-slot cooling solution or at least a single card with a dual slot cooling solution and so yeah we'll not take another card next to it and I've seen some conflicting um, articles in that saying that you cannot quad SLI these even though there is the presence of an SLI finger I know my 460 to win had a sticker over this finger uh, on it saying that it was not able to be SLI it's kind of funny that the finger is even there, but um, yeah, so I'm not sure if this particular card can quad SLI or not, and I don't have the capabilities of testing it, so I'll just have to leave that to somebody who has tested it. So, anyway, there it is, and it is actually longer than the board. This is quite a massive card, like I said before, so anyway, we'll get uh, 3D Mark 11 going and we'll see how this bad boy does. Okay, so this is the card at its maximum fan setting. So it's uh, quite annoying, actually. It's pretty loud. Um, of course, like I've mentioned before, this is a test bench. So a, a case, you know, may muffle it a little bit. But uh, it is a pretty loud card. But I guess, you know, with any high performance card, they, you know, when they have a lot of performance, heck, they just heat up and they've got to be cooled down. So right now I've got it running, it's actually folding at home, um, and I've got it, I'll run that for a couple of days and see how the uh, GPU handles it. The temperature right now is 70 degrees, and I have it actually uh, hitting 100% fan at 70 degrees. Just, uh, I just run a really aggressive fan profile. so. Anyway, we have the results from the 3D Mark 11 test over here, and what we came out with is a P8317 and a graphic score of 8870. So that's actually a pretty strong um, score, in my opinion, for, you know, a pair of 560s. That's that's pretty good. Um, I'm actually quite happy with that score. And uh, you know, it's generating some heat right now, like I talked about before. But you know, that's that's pretty good. 8,300 points. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. And that'll kind of wrap up the what I do for testing anyway. And now I'll just do some folding at home testing and. Uh, see how well it handles that. Currently we're doing about 13,000 points per day per GPU so that's actually pretty good as well. Okay so now I'll uh, stop the video here and then we will go to the wrap-up. 
Okay, so wrapping it up on the 560 Ti to win. You know, it's a great card. It's huge, unfortunately, taking up three slots and, you know, being 11 and a half inches long and actually longer than the motherboard. It could interfere with several things. Other cards could interfere with SATA connections. It could interfere with, with you know, cases, uh, hard drives. You know, you definitely need a big case for this card. Um, most people would be better off just buying two 560Ti's and SLI'ing them. But if you only have one slot, or for some other reason you can only have one card, man, this thing is a hell of a beast. And uh, hard to find, definitely hard to find, and uh, kind of expensive for what it is. But it's just a neat little... Um, neat little thing that I just couldn't pass up getting and testing. I noticed not a lot of people have tested it on YouTube so I figured uh, you know I could get in there and help anybody out. If you came across one of these cheap it definitely would be worth it with those kind of P scores. Um, yeah so pretty neat little product uh, if, you can, if you can find one at a reasonable price. And so that'll wrap it up and as always thank you guys for watching.